Update on the rental crisis in Orange County. Relief could be on the way. Commissioners are working on an ordinance to cap rental increases at 5% or the current rate of inflation, whichever is higher. But voters would have to approve it on the November ballot. Fox 35's Dave Puglisi has been following this issue closely for months now. He is joining us live tonight in downtown Orlando. So Dave, has there been any improvement in the rental situation there at all? Luann, honestly, not too much. There's some of the legislation that's tried to be passed, hasn't even been heard, and the stuff that has gone through hasn't really done enough for renters here in Orlando who are suffering. 33% of the people who entered, home, entered our shelters were first-time homeless. A staggering number as rents continue to rise across Orange County. The costs are pricing average Floridians out and creating record evictions. We had over 1,500 filings in the month of June, which is the highest number by far than any month in the last four years. Local Orange County Democratic lawmakers gathered at Lake Eola calling on the legislature to take action. They say the state needs to create more relief for homeowners and renters while creating more affordable housing. We need more incentives for the development of affordable housing at the state level. We need zoning reform so that we can actually build high density affordable housing in urban areas. The Coalition for Homeless of Central Florida say to live in Orlando, you'd have to make $27.69 an hour to afford a one bedroom apartment. A two bedroom would need $31.92 an hour. That is about 30% more than the national average. We have to be really intentional in, in getting uh, uh, creative with looking at sources of money we already have in front of us to help build more affordable housing. Now the coalition for the homeless says that they feel the city of Orlando is taking the proper strides to help the homeless as well as help the rent crisis, but there's still a long process to go. We also reached out to local Republican lawmakers to see what they would do about the affordable housing crisis, but we did not hear back from them before our